Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel and today we'll be talking about how to download characters with animation from Mixamo and how to prepare them inside uh, Blender and then export them into uh, Godot engine so about this. Someone asked for this in my channel. So uh, we're going to be doing this right now. So I have various characters I can be able to use in my game. So you can actually, uh, let's say for example, you can get this character any character you actually want so if you go to this tab here you have a character here and animations here now one of the things you have to know about Mixamo is that it's a reality free uh, website but you can download these uh, models and sell them so you have to actually use them maybe probably use it to create a game or maybe uh, animation or something okay you can be able to use to create anything you actually want so right now I have uh, various things I want to be able to create so I want to just go ahead to create a very interesting character and um, I, I just want to use this lady here. So I have this, uh, click on this. Now whenever your scene becomes, begins to slow down or it's not responding, you can be able to always refresh. So I'll just go ahead to go close to her. So this is my character. So I want to have several animations on it. The first animation I want is the idle animation. So to be able to do that, I'll have to click on this uh, animation here. Once I click it, I can just come in here and I can type idle. And it's going to search for idle animations for me. So I have different idle animations here. So I have, uh, let's see, the one that will be good for us. I think this one, so you double click on it and it will update it on this. So let's see how it moves. So this is uh, more like the other animation that it's going to have when it's not doing anything. So I will download it right now and I will download with a skin because I want the character itself. So I'll go ahead to download that and it's going to be down downloading. Now I want to also download uh, two more animations. So the next one will be a one so a run animation. So I have different run animations here. Clicking here and type the run again. So I have a different kind of run here. So I have um, this run here. I'll double click on that to update it here. So you want to put it in, in place. So it runs, you know, in one place. So we'll have this. So let's see what it's like. So we'll have uh, something like this. Okay, I think uh, this is good. And we're just going to download this but when we're downloading this right now we're going to download just without the skin so we just need the animation only and let's go down and see if we can be able to get a walk so let's go ahead and get a walk we'll have a walk And we'll also put it to be in place. So we want to be able to um, walk and also to be able to run when we need to run. So these are the things we want to be able to create in our game. So we'll just download that with our skin too. And uh, lastly, I want to get a jump in case I will need a jump. So uh, we'll just get that. I think I'll like this one. And you also put it to be in place. And then download without skin. So let's jump into Blender and import distance. Import it as FBX because that's what we actually have. And put it there. 
So I'm gonna get the idle animation first. So what we're trying to do in Blender is to be able to get all the animations uh, together. Okay, and to do any other modifications we want to make on the character. So you can be able to go into uh, the material preview if you want to. So I'm going to drag this up and you see that you have um, the animation on it. So if you play it, you see that um, that's just what it's doing, it's moving that way. We're going to go ahead to import the other one. So we're going to import um, the FBS and we're going to go ahead to get the jump and the run. I'm going to hold control and then the walk. I'm holding control to select all of them. So I want to import all of them at once. So once I import them, I'm going to use uh, my translate and just drag them to one side. If you select, I'll move these out. Let's move these ones out to this place. So this one should be in the center because that's what we're going to be exporting. We want to export anything, make sure that it's uh, very much at the center. So right now, let's change this to the dope sheet. And then this dope sheet, we're going to change to action editor. Very important. So this first one is the idol. So we're going to call it idol. And then we're going to go ahead to you know, select that. And we're going to remove this. Now let's click on this and we're going to play this animation. So that is run. We're going to call this run and uh, select this one. Um, let's go back and see that's jump. So we're going to call this our uh, jump. So let's select this one and that should be the work. So we're going to call this our uh, work. We're going to go ahead to select this now and just go over here and make sure we just uh, um add the jump to it and then we can just uh, go ahead to go to run and then go ahead to work so right now it has all these four animations and we can just go ahead to uh, delete all of them so we just have nothing here so but when we export it all of them are actually going uh, with it so if you always look at it you see that it's already saved as a fake user there so right now we'll just go ahead to select this now so i'm going to go ahead to export this right now as a gltf file so i'm going to use the gltf file here so it will always have this so i'm going to just export it and when i'm exporting i'm going to tell it um, just selected objects and i'll also go down and um, i'm going to tell it to apply modifiers in case it has any modifier on it and So once I'm done exporting this, I will also go ahead to export as, as the FBX file. So I'm going to use FBX this time around and do the same thing. I'm going to call this uh, and select object two and export as FBX file. Let me see if it has uh, apply modifier is already checked. So make sure that this is in the center. Very important when you're actually exporting it. So right here in Guru, I have a, an empty scene. So I'll just go ahead to right click and I will I'll open it in file manager and I want to import so you can easily go by dragging things into the scene. So I'm just going to create um, a folder Call it um, character. And I'm going to just drag this into it. I have my. I'm going to just drop it into that. So this is how you want it to appear. So right now you have this. If you double click on this, you'll be able to see. Um, the character 
So, but for you to see it, you have to, you know, go to different, um, oh, to this side to be able to see the character. So, there's a way it actually comes in. So, we're going to also import it to another place to see uh, the difference. So, right now, we'll have the animations on here. So, you can be able to play it and see the animation. So, right now, this is the most important part. You need to do some settings here for you to be able to work well with your animation. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to go down to this animation here and um, we're going to select uh, this, uh, this Arisha, Arisha Mesh, um, but that's not an animation. We select this animation here, change it to linear and enable save. Go to the jump, save it to linear and also enable save and go to run, save linear. This enables you to be able to loop your animation. You can be able to loop it if you want to. Then um, that's basically all the things you need to do on this particular character here. So once you do that, you can be able to um, re-import it. So once you do that, you can right click and just go ahead to say open in new inherited scene and you see the character right inside Google engine. And that's how you can be able to um, work with the character. So uh, you can import any kind of thing using this technique and it's quite very, very nice. If you look at the, the textures, the, the shaders and everything, it actually looks very, very nice. So um, that's basically how you can be able to import things from Mixamo into Blender and then back into your Google engine. So I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you actually subscribe to my channel and watch out for the next tutorial and it will be very nice. So I would like you to share this video with your friends and uh, get more people on board because you're going to be able to create a very nice epic game using this particular character we actually have here all right see you in the next video